Studied in India for a year, studied here, went on board for 18 months actually before this. Um, that was my 11th month, I got hijacked. The guy on the port lookout, he came and told me that at the port quarter, there's a boat. And it was about eight or nine miles from our ship. So the boat was heading towards us. So raised alarm, informed the captain. He came up and you know, he assessed the situation according to him. and. and Basically, we just waited for them to come and get on board. We didn't do anything. They, they fired two RPGs, basically to scare us off. We just flew past the ship. And then, through that aluminum ladder, they boarded. The six of them came up, threatened us to open the doors of the bridge. We had to, and then, you know, huddled us all in a corner, and then to control the ship. They used to believe that the crew was not helping them in any way. They thought it might be a good idea to, you know, start torturing the crew and scare them and then, you know, they will help us anyway. They did that and plus, you know, it gives an impression to the company also that if you don't do something you know, quickly, someone might get killed. So but they would tie your hands and hang you up to the mast or something for some time. To a few guys, they stripped them naked and put them in the deep freezer for like half an hour. Uh, there, there were a couple of guys, uh, they tied their genitals with cable tires and left them like that for half an hour or something. They are obviously, you know, beating is obvious. They, they just beat you with sticks and stuff. The worst bit is, you know, knowing that your family is suffering. You cannot do anything about it. You feel so angry, sometimes you feel like, you know, grabbing a gun and shooting one of them so then they'll shoot you back and it'll just all be over. But then I used to think about my family and you know, control myself and somehow we all stick together and got through. In December they did come to an agreement with the company and the whole drop of money and everything was arranged. Once the money was dropped, they left the ship within for 24 hours. I mean, I don't think life can ever be normal for me as long as I'm sailing. If I'll go back to sea, my family will always be worried. I always have to convince them that I am fine, which in truth I'm not, because you know, the sea is not safe. Indian Ocean is one of the busiest trading routes in the world, and it's not safe, and if, if I'm sailing, I can't avoid it. I think the human costs of piracy are almost unimaginably bad. They have been scarred for life. That experience of being in the control of pirates will be a life-changing experience for them. They will have experienced things that you and I dare to think of and it's a harrowing miserable and thoroughly terrible experience so although as I have said I can have some understanding for why pirates turn to piracy as a means of seeing wealth we mustn't forget that in the final analysis these are criminals and criminals that must be brought to justice because they bring misery and in some cases death to people who don't deserve it. Although we have the commitment of many navies around the world, the area that we're patrolling is just vast. The Indian Ocean is larger than the whole landmass of Western Europe. This is massive, and we will typically patrol that area with four, maybe five ships. That's like patrolling the entire Western European land area with four or five police cars. 
and none of them can go faster than 30 miles an hour. It's a huge task and it should not be underestimated and it's because of the size of the task that we have to work so closely with industry in order that together our collective teamwork can achieve success against the pirate. The SOS campaign is the biggest grouping of marine associations ever assembled to fight a single cause. It's very difficult to put your finger on the exact economic cost of piracy. But the economic risk will escalate when the decision has to be taken. Is it too dangerous to send our crews across at all? And that is when we will see the global economic cost really come to fruition. Only governments will eradicate piracy. And where SOS can make a difference is by ensuring that the general public and their politicians are made aware of the horrific effects of piracy. Go into the website and if all you do is click on the button to send a letter, then that will send an automatically generated email in your name to the appropriate politician in your country of origin. And believe me, if this situation is allowed to continue, the cost and effect of piracy will reach out and touch us all. Send a letter. It will make a difference.